You wonder how to include interactivity in your slides. Watch this video and follow the Setup Interactivity series from now on for more information on how to turn your static slides into interactive ones, starting with three events on click, on rollover, and on rollout. First, make sure you set initially hidden for objects you do not want to appear from the beginning. They only appear after you click or hover the mouse over. Now, trigger the on-click event and add actions to create interactivity for objects. Go to the Interactivity tab and you will set up interactions for the objects you want here. In this case, I will add on-click events to the play button and close button. Click the green plus to add on-click, then click to add action. Among these actions, I will choose Show Object and Hide Object, so that later on, when I click the play button, the play button will be hidden while the pop-up and audio objects will be shown. Use keyboard shortcuts to duplicate or copy or paste actions more quickly. In reverse, in the on-click event of the close button, add high object action for pop-up and audio and show object action for the play button. Let's preview the result now. Next, what about setting up on rollover and on rollout events? We will need to add these two events to the same object. Here, that object is the play button. We will click to add actions like this so that when viewers hover mouse on the play button, the pop-up and the audio will be shown. And when they hover the mouse out of the play button, the pop-up and audio objects will disappear. That's it! Can you imagine how to turn your static slides into interactive ones? Subscribe to our channel right now to not miss more tutorials about triggering interactivity in Active Presenter.